On Monday, something happened for the first time in history. Oil prices entered negative territory. So what explains the plummet? And how can something like a barrel of oil be worth less than nothing? The simple answer, the coronavirus pandemic. Planes aren't flying, less cars and trucks are on the road, and fewer trains are on the tracks, meaning fuel production outweighs demand. A lot of countries like Saudi Arabia, Venezuela, Brazil, Russia, produce oil because they need the revenue to keep their countries going. They don't turn off the tap. Now, there was an agreement with uh, OPEC and Russia recently, the U.S., to reduce the amount of supply, but it wasn't adequate. Another major issue is that there's nowhere to store it. This U.S. storage hub in Oklahoma is almost brimming over with unwanted oil. In fact, energy traders are having to pay buyers to take oil off their hands, which is where oil can fall into the negative. And even once the oil is purchased and moved, it doesn't necessarily translate to the pumps. So no, you won't get paid to fill up your gas tank. Free gas! In fact, the effects of this could hurt the economy in the long term. Countries like Canada and the US that depend on oil to some degree have some economic problems. Now, countries like Saudi Arabia that really depend on or Venezuela, Nigeria, they're going to have some tremendous economic problems. The Saudis have a lot of money relatively stored away, so they're in good shape. But some countries, there's going to be social upheaval. And this is probably the bigger problem is that there's going to be enormous problems from this because there just won't be enough money in those countries for people to feed themselves, to have jobs and so on. The last time something remotely similar to this happened was the 1980s oil glut, and the effects lasted over 15 years. Thanks for watching. If you want to stay up to date on the latest breaking national and international news, be sure to subscribe to our channel, where we also dig into big issues around the world in our weekly series, Global News Explains.